squash with shrimp. I've got a nice big pan here on a medium flame, a tablespoon and a half of olive oil, and I have two pounds of butternut squash, and you can see how thin I, how thin I sliced it. Two pieces were stuck together. That's gonna go into the pot. And if this recipe looks familiar, it's something I shared back in 2010, 2010, 2013, somewhere around there. But still, a delicious recipe. After I posted the Diwali series where everything was vegan and I did the pumpkin, everybody was like, Chris, what about pumpkin with, with shrimp? A classic Caribbean dish. So rather than use pumpkin, I couldn't get pumpkin on sale. The price of butternut squash was reasonable, so that is why we're doing it like that. I've got a pimento pepper that I sliced up really thin. We've got onion and garlic. I'm just gonna move that all over there. Of course, we're gonna need some black pepper in there. And I love, you know, I really enjoy, I love for some people, maybe a strong word, but I do adore using fresh ground black pepper. I've got four bird pepper, or what a lot of people call bird's eye pepper. What I'm going to do is crack the stems out, bust them in half. And, well, this is not crack, but I remove, I'm going to remove this. I'm removing the stems, like so. And I'm just going to break them in half. Totally optional. The pimento peppers will have the scent of uh, a scotch bonnet pepper, but not the heat. Salt. Of course, we need some salt in there. Later on, we can adjust that, and we also need some brown sugar. I like using a bit of golden brown sugar in there. I'm gonna give everything a mix. I'm gonna maintain that medium low heat because we want that to cook down the, you would have heard, well, the, the, the pan wasn't as hot as I would like it to have been, but now you can hear that sizzle. That, that is because I had washed the butternut squash and the remaining water in there, that's what's uh, activating everything. If, if it's drained, what I may recommend you do is add a couple of tablespoons of water. If you wanted to start with the garlic and the onion and peppers with the oil at the very start and then add the butternut squash or pumpkin, yeah, any sort of pumpkin will work, any sort of squash will work in this dish. Uh, it's totally up to you. I just, you know, honestly, it doesn't make a difference because this is going to cook down until it's like a mush. Not the most attractive dish, but I'm telling you, very delicious. And what I have here is my bowl with my shrimp, three quarter pounds of small shrimp. I've got a uh, three quarter teaspoon of curry powder, three quarter teaspoon of anchar masala, and one teaspoon of Caribbean green seasoning. We're gonna need some salt and black pepper in there, but we ain't getting there yet. Let's just make this happen in the pot first. Butternut squash, butternut squash with shrimp. It's been going for about 20 minutes now and what I found was when you use and you know I, I spoke to my mom and she said when you use butternut squash instead of the traditional Caribbean style pumpkin which can have a lot of water the butternut squash can be relatively dry and it was taking too long to start collapsing as you start seeing here now so what I did I went in with half of a cup of water I put it up the heat just a little bit higher and I'm having it on a sort of a, a rolling boil now because I want this to be nice and tender and to start falling apart. The, the whole idea here is for this to cook completely all the way down. But as mommy said to little old Uncle Chris, son, butternut squash real dry, you know, you're gonna have to add some water. The other thing you can do is put a lid on there and let that steam sort of steam saute down there as well too. The whole idea is to let that go until it's falling apart. It's been a further 10 minutes or so 13 minutes, three zero minutes in total. What I did was I used the back of the spoon to squash the squash. <laughs> to squish the squash. Anyhow, what we're gonna do at this point here is to, we're gonna move that pot over. We're gonna hit him a little non-stick pot. We're gonna crank up the heat to medium. We want to get this nice and warm. And remember, we have the seasoned shrimp to go in there. And the reason for putting the bit of olive, olive oil in, hmm, the second time I get tight, tongue with that olive oil, boy. The reason for the olive oil in here is because I'm gonna start with a dry pan here. I just need that little bit of oil to help cook this shrimp quickly. My pot is warm, so in goes the shrimp. 
try to get most of that Caribbean green seasoning, the curry, the anchor masala, everything in there. And what I want to do is to sear that, just give it some color, just a minute or two. But I don't want to overcook the shrimp. You know I have this phobia of, of eating overcooked shrimp. Yeah? You can see it's starting to take on some color, it's starting to curl. And that is an indication that this is ready to be transferred back into the pot with the butternut squash. So I'm just going to turn my heat back down. We're going to do that switch like so. We're going to bring this back up to temperature here quickly. Sup soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm really trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pot. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. Then it's time to add the shrimp back. And of course we've got to mix it in. So it's all nice and dry. The, the thing that most old school Caribbean people, especially if you're from Trinidad and Tobago, look for when it comes to pumpkin or butternut squash, um, when you stew it down like this, or well, you know, some people may call it a curry as well. Um, <clears throat> it has to be nice and dry. So what I'm going to do is shut off the stove. The residual heat in this cast, pan, cast iron pan is going to remove any remaining moisture in there. The shrimp will not overcook in the process because remember we're not giving it live heat. It's just an indirect remnant heat. And that is how easy it is to make butternut squash with shrimp. The other thing I must mention in an older recipe, I, I did show you all a, a different way of doing this and what we did was we started with the oil in the pan, we tossed in the shrimp, the seasoned shrimp, we cooked it for a couple of minutes, we removed it, cooked the pumpkin and then we added back the shrimp at the end. So either way it works, it's just I find that this way here I get to control the texture just a little bit more on the shrimp. I hope you guys get an opportunity to give this one a try. Chris here saying, make it a great week ahead, all right?